In the quiet town of Crestwood, nestled between rolling hills and ancient oak trees, there was a street known to the locals as Balit Drive. The street had always been shrouded in a certain mystique. The houses on Balit Drive were grand and stately, built in the early 1900s with an elegance that spoke of a bygone era. However, it was one particular house that had become the focal point of the town's whispers and legends. This was the house at number 27, known locally as the White Lady's House. The story of the White Lady began in the early 1920s when the house was first constructed. It was built by a wealthy industrialist, Jonathan Whitaker, for his wife, Evelyn. The Whitakers were a prominent couple, known for their lavish parties and philanthropic efforts. Evelyn was said to be a vision of beauty, with a grace that captivated everyone who met her. The couple had everything, wealth, social status, and a grand home, but their happiness was not meant to last. Tragedy struck when Evelyn fell ill with a mysterious illness. Despite the best doctors and treatments available, her health deteriorated rapidly. One fateful evening, as a storm raged outside, Evelyn succumbed to her illness in the master bedroom of their home. Jonathan was devastated and the house, once filled with laughter and joy, became a place of mourning. After Evelyn's death, Jonathan was never the same. He lived out his days in solitude, rarely seen outside the confines of the grand house. The once vibrant home became a shadow of its former self, and whispers began to circulate about the presence of Evelyn's ghost. The tale of the White Lady was born from the local lore describing her as a spectral figure in a flowing white gown, wandering the halls of the house in sorrow. Decades passed, and the Whitaker house changed hands several times. Each new occupant reported strange occurrences, flickering lights, unexplained cold spots, and the feeling of being watched. But it wasn't until the early 1980s that the story of the White Lady truly took hold. A young historian named Margaret Collins moved to Crestwood and rented the house at 27 Belit Drive. Margaret was fascinated by local legends and decided to delve into the history of the White Lady. She spent countless hours researching in the local archives, piecing together the life of Evelyn Whitaker. Margaret's investigation revealed that Evelyn was not just a tragic figure, but a woman of great intellect and kindness. She had been deeply involved in charitable work particularly in the field of education for underprivileged children. Her illness and subsequent death had not been the only tragedies. There were rumors of financial difficulties and betrayals that had plagued the Whitaker family. Determined to uncover the truth, Margaret began to experience the phenomena reported by previous tenants. She would hear footsteps echoing in empty rooms, and her research would often be interrupted by the sound of a soft, mournful melody. An old lullaby Evelyn had been known to sing one night, Margaret was working late in the library when she saw a figure at the edge of her vision. It was a woman in a white gown, her face hidden in shadow. The apparition seemed to reach out to Margaret as if seeking solace. Margaret decided to hold a seance in an attempt to communicate with the spirit. She gathered a small group of local historians and psychics and conducted the seance in the grand parlor. During the session, the spirit of Evelyn Whitaker did make contact. Through the medium, Evelyn's spirit conveyed her sorrow and regret. She was trapped between worlds, not by malevolence, but by a sense of unfinished business and the burden of her untold story. Evelyn's spirit spoke of her gratitude for Margaret's efforts in uncovering her life's true story. She wanted to be remembered not just as a ghostly figure, but as a woman who had made a difference in her community. As the seance concluded, the room seemed to lighten and the oppressive atmosphere lifted. Margaret felt a sense of peace, as if Evelyn's spirit had finally found some measure of rest. The story of Evelyn Whitaker and the White Lady of Bayleet Drive became a celebrated part of Crestwood's history. The house at 27 Bayleet Drive was preserved as a historical site, and the legend of the White Lady transformed from one of fear to one of reverence. Margaret continued to live in Crestwood, and she often gave tours of the house, sharing the story of Evelyn and the lessons learned from her life and afterlife. The White Lady's tale served as a reminder that even in death, there is a story to be told, and sometimes understanding and compassion can help heal wounds that transcend time. Balit Drive, with its grand homes and mysterious legends, continued to be a place where the past and present intertwined a testament to the enduring power of memory and the human spirit.